On today's video, we take this box of piping and make some custom intercooler pipes. What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. As you heard in the intro, we're making some intercooler piping for the Civic today. So I picked up some uh, two and a half inch universal intercooler piping off eBay. Um, basically it's just a kit that you could hopefully use on any car to make up your own custom piping. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what comes in this box and then show you how I'm gonna use it on the Civic to make some custom intercooler piping. So this is what you get in the kit. You get two of these U-bends, you get two 45s, two 90s, two straights, two 90 degree couplers, a handful of straight couplers, and a bag of clamps. And then some additional items I had to pick up for my application was a three inch to two and a half inch straight coupler for the throttle body. And then also for the intercooler intakes. And then I also picked up a uh, two inch to two and a half inch straight coupler for the turbo. So I'm gonna go ahead and start laying out the piping on how I'm gonna route it and then uh, we'll get started. So this is the routing I have planned. We'll have this 90 degree coming off the turbo, which goes into this U-band straight into the intercooler for the hot side piping. Then for the cold side piping, we'll have another U-band coming out of the intercooler, then to a 90 degree coupler that goes to this 45, and then to a 90 that goes straight into the throttle body. Obviously, everything's gonna have to be trimmed to fit, but this will be a good starting point. All right, let's get started. I think the first piece I'm gonna start with is this uh, U-band. I'm gonna go ahead and set it in place and see what trimming I have to do. So there's that. Let's see, does it look good in there? Yeah, so this is roughly where it's gonna sit, but obviously I wanted to bring it in further. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it off from there. It looks like I could probably start with Probably two inches. So I'll go ahead and cut two inches off this end right here, and then come back and fit it and see if there's any additional trimming that needs to take place. So I just got done trimming up the hot side piping and the fitment turned out excellent. So as you can see right there, it comes out out of the turbo and then that seam right there will be welded and then comes around and goes into the intercooler. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and move to the cold side. So I'm gonna use the same process on the cold side. I'm gonna actually start with this U-bin and trim it to fit. Now first I'm gonna actually install it and see if anything needs to be trimmed. I do want to bring this in and the coupler is too far out, so I'm going to have to trim both sides. This side's about an inch and a half. I'm going to go ahead and trim it and come back.
So I just got done mocking up the cold side piping and it's ready to go. So this is the only joint that I need to weld. I already marked it with a, a Sharpie. So when I take it off and put it on the bench, I know exactly how to line it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all the piping off, take it over to the table and get welding. So there's one final step to complete these intercooler piping. So on the original piping, the pieces that I cut off, you'll notice that there's this bead roll on the end of the tube. This is to keep the tube in place so the coupler has something to grip onto. So under boost, the pipe doesn't blow out. So if you notice on the pieces I made, uh, I cut those pieces off so there's no longer a bead roll set in place. So. Um, a bead roll tool is probably a couple hundred bucks for a decent one. Uh, I went ahead and created my own bead roll. So I just took an old pair of vice grips, welded on a nice big washer, and then used an exhaust clamp for the outer portion. And basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna line it up and then pinch. And then it's a little time consuming because you have to go around the whole uh, diameter of the tubing. But once it's set and done, it's good to go. There you go. Nice little bead roll. I'm just gonna finish the rest of the piping. Just got done installing all the piping. I think it turned out rad, so let's check it out. down in the comment section how you guys think this inner clear piping turned out. I'm getting really close to finishing this up. The only thing really left to do is a fuel system. But in the next video, I'm actually going to go into detail what I have planned for the fuel upgrades. But as far as this video, it's going to go ahead and end it here. 
Make sure you check out the description of this video to follow along on my social media and check out my Patreon. But yeah, as always, I appreciate you guys checking out these videos and I'll see you next time.